Hi, this is Reston Pro Tools Expert, and I'd like to give you a first look at Plugin Update. Now, Plugin Update is something which has been long anticipated, which allows a piece of software to interrogate your computer and to figure out what plugins you have that are out of date and then help you to update them. And we've got a link on our site of how to download this piece of software. It's in beta stage, so this is a time for us to feed back to those that are creating it, the developers, the things that we'd like to see in it and the things that aren't quite right for us at the moment. So when you download it, you get this icon. At the moment, it's Mac only, but they're promising Windows isn't far behind. And you double click it and you get this. And it's a simple drag and drop into your applications. And once that's done, then you end up with this app called Plugin Update, which is pretty self-explanatory. But before you even get into it, you uh, need to create an account uh, within here and a profile, so there's mine. Now, there's one thing straight away when I came to create an account that drove me crazy. They have such a, they have such a secure password mechanism. Basically, it requires an uppercase, a lowercase, a number, and an odd character. Now, if like me, you have the same password, and it's a secure password uh, in a lot of places, then I can guarantee straight away I'm going to forget my password for this account as soon as I've made it because it's so, so mad. So my first bit of feedback to the, the guys over at Plugin Update is don't be so uh, strict with your password creation. If you want to pop up a little thing that says it's a strong password or a weak password or this isn't a, a really good password, that's fine. But don't force me to make a password I would never make normally or I don't have already because right now I've already forgotten the password I've created for this account. So I'm going to spend my life going to the uh, website asking it to give me a remind me of a new password. Now, I know that's the case because other sites do this to me as well, uh, namely something like uh, O2, the, the phone operator. So that's one thing straight away, thumbs down from me. Uh, let me create the password I want to create. If it's rubbish, uh, then uh, I understand that, but uh, that's, my, that's my problem, not yours. So the second thing is then you have paths and you could choose the paths you want to check so you choose you choose paths for, for audio units vst artist tdm and aax so aax is already ready and you can add other path, paths in there as well now as well you can see here there's then a checkbox where you can select whether you scan it or not now i'm a pro tools user i do have other i have other doors like logic and stuff but 99 percent of the time i am using pro tools so i just wanted to check out my pro tools plugins more than anything and once i've Choose, chosen the ones that I want to use. I, I press save settings and then I X there. And I think as well, just that one as well, bit of feedback again. If I hit save settings, it should probably exit, I would think. Perhaps you disagree with me. Anyway, so then it gives you an installed. And now, because I've only chosen RTAS and TDM and AX, you can see there they all are there. Now, as you can see, I, because we, we run Protoss Expert, I have far more plugins than most people do, but perhaps you have more than me uh, because you're a collector. So there's all of them showing on there, and the installed version, the format, the vendor, and the name of it in alphabetical order. And you can you can sort. Once you hit the scan button, you can sort that. So the scan button is pretty straightforward, and as you can see, the other thing is, well, in fact, that sort doesn't work at the moment. So if that's a sorting box, then it doesn't seem to work for me. Perhaps I have to double click on it. No, it doesn't seem to do anything. So let's go to the updates then. And here's the update window, and we scan it. And again, I think it would be nice if that scan thing changed color while it was doing its magic, rather than give me the beach ball of death. But sometimes you just hit it, and, and it, it kind of grays out. You can see that for a moment. It's doing something, and then it comes back on. But I sat there the first time wondering if it had crashed on me, because the first time it sort of hangs a bit sometimes. So that's worth checking. Remember, this is in beta. And then it gives you a list of, of uh, plugins that are out of date. And straight away, you can see there's a lot of stuff there that's out of date. Uh, and I didn't get any instructions, but I figured out, I guess, that if I double clicked, like rewire is out of date. That's not a good thing if you're using rewire. Double click on it, and it takes you to the home page. Now, that would be better if it took me to the rewire download page, the actual download page, to fix that. So I think that needs fixing too. But on the whole, if nothing else, it's now telling me that 20, 30 of my plugins are out of date. And it gives me installed version and the latest version. So let's try another one, just to be fair. And again, it's taking me to the home page. So 
it's as simple as that really that's how it works and then you download it and you've got a new version and if you spent a, about an hour or so going through all of these and finding the right plugin and stuff then you would be away which is cool there's an import and export not quite sure what that does at the moment but uh, we'll find out later there's a store and if you go to this site and click here it says there uh, they're going to allow you or, or create a system where you can buy a plugin and download it straight away in a kind of uh, single sort of app store experience a bit like on a mac so there we are great start i'll have to say i might sound hypercritical and and, and finicky but uh, while we're in beta stage let's get this right so Great start, worth having even now, just so you can find out uh, what you've got out of date. But the two things that drove me uh, slightly crazy uh, are I don't want to have to create a, a password I'd never use normally. And secondly, these double-click links need to actually go to the real download points. Uh, not even the downloads, just even the page where it lives would be a start. Because right now, Isotope, I could do those updates better by going to my app now and using the update option in the Isotope app, which would take me directly to, to the download. So great start, guys, but some work to be done. Uh, that's my first show and tell of the new plugin update software. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.